So much of my beard has grown back already. I love it. I'm still technically a baby face, but welcome back to your daily dose, everybody. Today is an adventure day. Casey and I are gonna cook. We're gonna go to a farmer's market. We're having a nice, kind of chill, peaceful day here in Celebration, Florida. Come along with us, with us and hope you guys hope you guys enjoy. I appreciate you guys enjoying this content. We're just gonna go down to Celebration. This is what I'm wearing. A lot of you guys want to see more of my outfits. Very simple, this is the 25th anniversary uh, shirt from Animal Kingdom. Today is also Sunday, so we are kind of a little bit ahead on the vlogs, obviously, so bear with me, we'll be up to speed here relatively soon. But um, I did want to say too, even though we are getting, well, I'm getting situated into this, this apartment, I am gonna be moving relatively kind of soon, but it's more towards the end of the year. So I'm not trying to deck this place out, but I'm enjoying uh, obviously this whole week of content of being here and kind of just vlogging at home. It's, it's awesome. I love this. I've always been wanting to make this content and actually like have an audience because way back when I first started YouTube, this is what I actually theoretically did. Um, I, would, I would vlog, I would game, but then I would kind of just talk and do normal life things. So this is content that I've always strived and wanted to do. And we're finally doing it. Here we are. Without further ado, we're gonna go to Celebration. Well, we're in Celebration, but we're gonna go downtown. Come with us. I mean, we're gonna be leaving here shortly because Casey is doing Casey things and she's also researching food for tonight. So we'll see what we're gonna cook. And you know what, as far as me only having this place for a little while, but the seasons are coming up, I'm still gonna be decorating. What do you guys think? Like I decorate my living room very Halloween-y, very Thanksgiving-y. Or I guess this whole big room would be kind of cool to just redecorate. Um, they did say don't put anything in the walls, but if I do, then I I've, I have to like like fill the holes and everything. But they get to retouch up the paint. So I think I'm gonna essentially start doing things in the in the on the walls. But I think that's what I want to do. I think it'd be cool. What are your guys' thoughts? I mean, technically, I can put things on the wall. They just said, you know, maybe don't since you're moving out, but I actually did delay moving out a little bit longer. So I'll probably ask the office what they will do, uh, what, what I can do, but I'm pretty sure I can. So we'll see before we start doing anything, but maybe I could decorate there. We'll see. This whole place would be so cool. Halloween themed, so cool. This is also why part of me was really excited about getting a house because then I would have a whole room dedicated to just a very enhanced type room. That's what I foresee doing. I, I just want to do stuff like that. That'd be, that'd be amazing. So let me know your guys' thoughts down below. Now we can get going. I mean, I guess we can see how nice today is. It's Florida, of course it's nice. It's super nice, super awesome. It's really quiet too. It's really quiet. I really wish that this was actually like a bug fence. And if you guys remember my last place, there was um, there was a bug net here. But in Celebration, they're not like allowed to have bug nets at all, I believe, anywhere. I really feel like bug nets are important. But there's really not bugs right now. But like at night, that's when it gets kind of bad. But unfortunately, they can't do bug nets here in Celebration. Would have been nice, but I guess it looks better without bug nets. But I love bug nets, you know? Bug nets are nice. But the place is coming along as you guys saw. Just waiting on one more big thing. And I think Missy is almost ready. Oh, I'm ready. Are you ready? Yeah, you wanna go? Yeah! I was just cleaning up the bathroom a little bit. Putting my stuff away, you know. Let's go. Our very first farmer's market as both of us being celebration residents. That is so cool. Welcome. Let's... As an official celebration resident, you are officially allowed to come here. I'm a lot anyone's Every allowed. Week. Yeah, anybody can come. I'm you guys can come. You come can. on down. You can. This should be our new like Sunday week. Farmer's market? I love the farmer's market. Yeah. Me too. So Let's go find some ingredients to cook, because Case is cooking. We're cooking. Yeah. Her famous green beans as well, but I'll be taking over that recipe because yeah, I have mastered it. it. I have mastered it. I'm proud. We're so proud. 
Try not need too many ingredients from the farmer's market. We will still need to go to Publix. Try to make a fairly simple meal. It's a one pan meal that we're gonna try tonight. Never made it before. Let's go. Um, if you want, it would be a good idea. Oh, it's really hot. It's really hot. That's all I gotta say about that. The weirdest thing is my shorts don't have any pockets, but it does in my butt. Like, look, here, film it. You guys are gonna see my butt. See this? That's where I put my phone. <laughs> like, it doesn't have side pockets. These are from That's Super Drive. I got these, like, two, three years ago. I like them. Yeah. They look good. They're nice. He always asks me which shorts he should wear, because he used to only ever wear the black ones, but I personally really <laughs> like the lighter colored shorts on him. I personally like the black ones. I know you do. Wait a second, everybody. Last time we were here at the farmer's market and they had some really cool and cute things for apartments. So we might be getting something for apartment. Well, my apartment. I keep saying our apartment. <laughs> you know, instead of, uh, I was showing Casey some YouTubers that I used to watch, PVP, Prank vs. Prank, Jesse and Gina, my goodness. And they used to go to Wawa all the time. What if we just go to farmer's markets all the time? like on, yeah. You know, Sundays, we went to one where I'm from. Mm -hmm. I don't know. There's also other farmer's markets in Orlando. We can check out different ones. I think there's ones in Winter Garden. Mm, beautiful and area. And Winter Park, which is a little far, but it'd be cool to check out the different ones. Yeah. This is so fun. Let us know if you like it. I mean, yeah. it's a really chill type vlog, and we'd enjoy this because we get fresh ingredients for cooking. Yes. It'll also be very nice, at, like, towards the end of the year when the weather cools off a little bit. Right now, as we, of course, we're roasting and toasting for you. Toasting and roasting. But it'll be really nice when it gets a little cooler, too. It's a horse apiece. <laughs> Apparently, that's a Wisconsin saying, because Casey's yeah. like, what do you mean? Well, he's, if you guys he don't know what it means, Google it. it the other day, and I was like, I still don't really know what that means, <laughs> but okay. And then I looked it up, and it's, it's, it comes from Wisconsin, a, Milwaukee. A Milwaukee, I think. It's a horse apiece, guys. It's a horse apiece. This is so funny because some celebration residents, those who have houses, they can drive around in these things. It's hilarious. Anyone really can. Yeah, anyone theoretically can. But the ones living in the houses are probably the ones so that can, can afford, afford it. <laughs> I'm not sure if we told you guys. I'm pretty sure we have in the past. This is where Casey and I had like our our second date too. Yeah. And like third in a way. Right? Yeah. yeah. We've had a lot of date nights here. Yeah, we love this place. But I feel like celebration is very special to us. But we had many of our dates. Oh, baby. Okay. All right, Farmer's Market, here we go. My goodness. Celebration Town Tavern is really good as well. We're already noticing something different. The fresh uh, vegetables is not here, so we might actually have to go to Publix after all. Well, we already had to, but we might just have to get all the ingredients. Oh, no. That's disappointing. Honestly, I, I think we're going to. Came, I was saying, like, sometimes they're not here, but I thought they. They're clearly not here. All right, furniture stuff. Something from Cornerstone? Yeah, Maybe I'm not like, too hungry, but like, you know, I'm, I can eat. I'm definitely getting hungry. I don't think any furniture stuff is going to be up here, but... It might be. Worth a shot. It wasn't really like furniture, though. It was I think furniture stuff. This is cool. Oh my goodness, look how cute this is. I don't know if this is allowed on my doors, though. I'm going to have to check with them. Yeah, that's so cute. Maybe check this week and then we can come back. I like this one. Versus the Jack. This one just looks better. I like that. I like these two for sure. Thank you. Oh, it's so hot. These would be kind of cool in like the front half section of the house, you know? Like the little succulents. Were you thinking something like that? Yeah. But look, these this look, would match. These are real cold. though, so you'd have to take Oh no. These, these are real? Yeah. Of course they are. <laughs> <laughs> We're at a farmer's market. You think they're gonna have fake plants? <laughs> yeah. Oh, art. <laughs> so unfortunately, there's not really much fresh stuff here at the farmer's market. Fortunately, they're not here, but we're gonna go around the corner because there actually still might be more, but we're gonna probably have to be going to Publix. Mm -hmm. Publix is yeah. probably a must. We're gonna pop inside Market Street Gallery here real quick because they might have some Halloween decorations. Go for it. Reminds me of Home Goods. I say we have to find something Halloween in here to buy. But they're playing Christmas music. <laughs> Not yet. And there's Santa behind you. Do you see it? I cannot wait. Do you, well, do you see Santa? Yeah. 
Yeah, this is primarily a Christmas store. They always have Christmas things in here. I love coming here for actual Christmas though. It's true. It's literally oh they have they have Thanksgiving stuff already, Casey. Look at this. That's cute. This is so cool. It's gotta be expensive, right? Like look at that. Please do not touch, ask for assistance. It's a whole Halloween town. That's insane. No shot. Should we ask the price? Because I really kind of want one. Like, look at that. Yeah. Do you think it comes as a set? Maybe. But it's, that is so cool. That's so cute. I love the, the um, Pumpkin Town Halloween Festival. Haunted Mansion down here too. I like that one actually the best. Yeah. I love the little Mickey pumpkins. Okay, if it's under 100, let's get one. What are you talking about? Like a set? Yeah, like, like that is a hundred. I don't know if like they sell the set separately, but I would love that in that little mm -hmm. somewhere, somewhere. Well, let's go find someone. Let's go. Let's go do it. And we could get a hocus pocus cookbook. <gasps> oh. Casey, come on, Stop. that would be As so you cool. Said that I feel like it clicked for both of us. Just how cool that's gonna. We be. could even like cook something like that tonight, like just like a like a Halloween snack maybe. We could. I'm down. Okay, we gotta go price if the price is right. <laughs> we will buy it if the price is right. Super cute. Wow, of course the thing I first film is cheese. That's just destined. Zombie fingers. Let's get this too. So we asked the price. They're uh, 145 pretty much each, but we're gonna go for the little pumpkin, which is $100 off. It's 45. That was nice. You can actually get those on Amazon, they're like $2 off, so we just decided to buy the pumpkin one for $46. You can get it for $44 on online, on Amazon, and maybe even cheaper after the holidays, but I think that's so a cool, cool thing of decorations. Yeah. It doesn't break the budget. And you're trying to find things here and there to start building yeah. your Halloween collection. Got it. Well, of course, you need a Mickey pumpkin. Not really much at the farmer's market today as far as vegetables is going, so we're definitely going to Publix. It's just a lot of cool mom and pop shops here. Fun fact, or should I say side note, this is actually where the Celebration Movie Theater used to be. They really need to bring it back because we don't have to go too far, but this would be so nice if it was open. Yeah. But it's not. Should we go eat? It's so hot. Yeah, let's go. I was thinking we should try Cornerstone Deli. I think it's called Bakery and Deli. It's a New Orleans cafe. They have sandwiches, they have like a little convenience store, and they also have beignets, which I've never tried. So maybe we should try them. Let's today. try it today. Yeah. Let's go. Oh. Possibly, maybe, if you guys want to see it. I've never seen a room here, but that is the Celebration Hotel right here on the lake. Would you guys want us to do a staycation Sunday there? I don't know how expensive it is. It's a relatively, really small hotel, so I don't know. It's a boutique one. Yeah, you can get married there and stuff. Yeah, you can. They have a little ballroom. We, we have walked in there before, but we obviously haven't seen the rooms since we haven't stayed, but they do have a oh, restaurant. He's like a turtle. <gasps> Oh my goodness. <laughs> he just said hi and bye. He is so big. That is a, oh, he's coming back up? That is a big <gasps> turtle. Oh. Do you remember that one turtle that did like a whole 360 yeah. in the air? It was so scary. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, let us know if you want us to stay there. Cornerstone, Cornerstone Marketplace. Let's try it out. This is cute. It's like a, it's like a marketplace in, in a way, because they sell Claritin here. Okay. Here's their menu. So the the po boys. That's oh, is that what we're gonna get? Thing. Are we yeah, gonna split one, sure. right? Yeah, we can. For sure. Let's do that. Like, like, like a beignet. And beignets, yeah. Yeah. You can pick out the po boy, and I'll just do the beignet thing. Well, I already know what I want. Oh, order it. Sure. Let's do it. Found a nice little spot outside here, but you know what's even crazier or crazy? This is my very first P.O. box that I ever had down here. It was in Celebration. It's the first one that I had in Florida. Technically my second one ever because the first one was in Wisconsin, but this is the first one in Florida. Right here in Celebration. I'm not sure if a lot of you guys can tell or notice, but when I was uh, younger, like four, three, I have a scar right here on my face, and the only time you can see it is when I obviously don't have a beard. It's like right here if you can notice it. I have a little baby scar. I uh, fell in a gutter and it just kind of like bled open. There's a whole story to it. Maybe I'll tell that when 
when I'm in Wisconsin with my family. But yeah, it's a scar that I have on my face. And I also have something like way up here. I don't remember what side. I had a water stick when I was um, sledding down a hill in Wisconsin. Whew, gonna need like five of these waters. It's, it's a steamy one. Food has arrived. The beignets are in there. I think we're gonna save those. For dessert. Look at all the powdered sugar. Oh, through. They smell good. I have never had them, and I don't know why. Because I've eaten here before. So I didn't get. Why didn't I get beignets? Have you had beignets before? Well, yeah, of oh, okay. course, but just not from here. Oh, yep. Yeah. Thanks. All right, Casey. What do we got here? We got an Italian hoagie. Hoagie. Just hoagie. Hoagie. Look at that. Oh. Boy. I'm glad we split though, because this thing is gigantic. Let me see that, that again. Look at it. That's beautiful. It's perfect. It's like you. Mm -hmm. Let's take a bite here. Mmm. Uh huh. It's refreshing. <laughs> <laughs> we also got some salt and vinegar uh, chips. Very good. I feel like I'm in New Orleans, even though I've never been there before. So how do I really know? Maybe next year. Hopefully next year. Hopefully next year. I I love Italian sandwiches, so I feel like I should just go on a tour of every place that has an Italian sandwich and compare all of them. That should be my, my goal. My goal is just to eat one of these right now. I gotta have one right now. They smell so good. It's a little bit doughy and like sticky. Oh my god. Like look at that. It's incredible. These might I feel like Disney really lacks on food. They gotta step up the game. Come to celebration, I swear those are better than Disney's and I gotta compare it to Disney's because you know, we usually go to Disney every day, except this week. This week has been polar opposite. Polar opposite, but, but I think you guys and we both are enjoying it. Mm -hmm. Mixing in lifestyle with the vlogs. Apparently these are made with the Cafe Dumont like mix. 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 They sell it here, the mix here too. I'm telling you, it's better than oh Disney's. It is my goodness. so good. They are so flaky. Mm -hmm. Look at that powdered sugar. Are you kidding me? Yep. Have a bite. I'm jealous because that's the last one. Isn't that incredible? Oh, oh my goodness. Like it's unbelievable. Mm. That is, I don't even know how to describe this. It's wicked. Oh my gosh. Yep, try it guys, I'm telling you. For as small as celebration is, I feel like we keep finding some really nice places to eat. That was a good one. Now we're gonna go make our own food. Do we, should we look at the book and see if we can make any Hocus Pocus things or are we gonna save that yeah, for later? What I do mean, we... maybe we should do like an entire themed, like that should be when we go shopping mm, okay. for Halloween things. Cause also, I already made the list, so selfishly I just don't wanna make a new one. If you guys want us to open the book, and make some Halloween stuff. Let us know, that, that that should be like when we have a decked out place, that'd be nice. Yeah, I think it, we, maybe we can like do a shopping for Halloween or decorating for Halloween and then Halloween dinner. That'd be nice. Maybe we could do like a dessert. Oh, that'd, be cool. that'd, be cool. that'd be cool, that'd be cool, that'd be cool. There were drinks in there too, which is cool. All right, all ideas. Let's go get the ingredients and yeah. start cooking. Actually, Laura's coming over. Laura mm -hmm. wants to see the place, so she'll be We're gonna cook her some here too. Dinner. Gotta add extra ingredients. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Yeah. Let's see how much it takes, or how much it costs to, to fill up my BMW. It's usually about $60. I think this one's gonna be about like 50. It's four, 460 a gallon. It was 60 after all. Darn it. We're back at the one and only Publix, y'all. Do we, we don't need that much, right? But cart's fun, let's get a cart. Let's go. I know what I need to get. The beans. They're on sale. Look at that. Wait, we have an odd kale. It's not for the pale. Strawberries, because we always get throw strawberries. Throws it in there. <laughs> <laughs> the amount of uh, the of you guys we run into here at Publix is astounding. It's we honestly, it. it's, it's so, so fun. fun. We're just shopping, we're like, hey guys, we're like, hey, cooking video, cooking video. Fresh Italian parsley. Are yellow onions actually yellow? Because to me, this doesn't look yellow. But we need one yellow onion. Yeah, these are, it doesn't look yellow, it's like white. We got some boneless, skinless chicken thighs. We got this rice as well. Last but not least, this little bugger was hard to find, coconut milk. Let's put this guy up. We saw it in the store, but it's really cute. 
Look at that. Looks just kind of like the one in Disneyland. I'm gonna put it, I think like right here, because it's got an outlet, you see this? It's got a nice outlet, you know? Imagine this will be like the, the Christmas section with just like a nice little, nice little town of two houses. It's actually battery operated, but we need C batteries, so we will uh, see you guys a little bit later and get those batteries. See what I did there? But I like it, it's cute. Let's get cooking. Good looking. Ooh. Also just kind of noticed that this is pretty much the same. I think this like cookbook match. You're supposed to get everything together. Cause like it's the same thing. I know it's like, the, you know, the same sisters obviously, but I think it belongs together. <laughs> Show us how to properly do the pillow. Okay. Yeah, just do how you do before. Just do how you do before. Most ladies can understand this. You gotta karate chomp the pillows. It's like a normal thing. All right, Casey, what are we making? We are making, let's see. Okay, we're making lemony chicken thighs and rice bake. It's supposed to be a one pot meal. So you're gonna pan fry the chicken and then put it in the oven, which is awesome. Never made it before though. And also this is not my recipe. This is TikTok's, TikTok's recipe. Put it on the bottom of the video. Ingredients Please. in in the bio for sure. We're gonna first start out by preheating the oven oven to three seven five. I actually don't know how to work this thing to be honest. Bake. Yeah. Three seven five. Start. Gonna need to get the chicken thighs out of the the. Where are the chicken thighs? They're on the bottom. Oh, I was like, where are they? There they are. Might as well get the green beans out too. For the record, Casey is the chef, and I am. The sous chef. Yes, you are. Shout out to you, Mama Susan Palo. That used to go by Sue, but now she goes by Susan. This is when we're gonna take some handy dandy gloves because I don't want to touch that chicken. I did already wash my hands, by the way, but we're gonna pat the chicken dry and then we're gonna season it with salt, pepper, paprika, and Italian seasoning on both sides. Disgusting. Yeah, it kind of smells bad. We were supposed to get boneless ones, but the only they ones we could get were, them. were bone. That smells so bad. Well, it's chicken. Chicken does not smell good. Yeah, that does way. not smell good. Please it kind of it. It smells like farts. <laughs> <laughs> I am going to cut some of the fat off just because that is my preference. You don't have to. A lot of times the fat does add more seasoning, but I don't like it, so I'm gonna cut it. Cutting the fat away. I've never actually made chicken thighs before. I usually like to do chicken breasts or cutlets or something like that. This will be a new territory for me, but you know, this is all about learning and trying new things together. So that's what we're doing. As Casey's cutting that up, I'm gonna get the seasoning for the beans ready to go. We're gonna start with a half a teaspoon of salt. One teaspoon of garlic powder. One tablespoon, <laughs> table, <laughs> tablespoon of crushed red peppers. And that's it for the seasoning. You just mix it on up. And I actually found a different way to cook the green beans. Put it in the microwave for how many minutes? Uh, it says, I think it's three to four minutes before the package. Oh yeah. And then we uh, will fry them. It just kind of gets them cooking a little bit yeah, easier. Yeah, that way you don't have to wait for a long time to let them get soft. Chicken thighs really do smell awful though. We are going to season next once we pat this dry. Me being an inexperienced cook, <laughs> I feel like cooking is all about seasoning. And this seasoning seems like no joke. To season the chicken, we're going to use Italian seasoning, salt, pepper, and paprika. It does call for smoked paprika, but we're just gonna use the regular ground paprika. And that is literally it. Action. There are some certain measurements, but we're just gonna eyeball this one. We don't really care too much. We just wanna see if we like it or not, and we're kinda grossed out by the chicken, so um, it's not really going as planned. We didn't really think it was gonna smell that bad, but hey, I guess we gotta do chicken thighs more often. <laughs> to get used to the smell. It's not that, I mean, it just, <laughs> chicken doesn't smell good. Actually. Make sure you don't forget to season the other side. Side note, Casey and I, we were thinking about doing this. If you guys have any experience with HelloFresh, let us know down below. Um, it's a good deal right now, so we'll see. Do you guys like it? Do you wanna see it? Let us know down below. Don't forget to wash your hands after this step. I got you, I got you. These next steps are going to get quite interesting. It's cooking time. We're gonna put about two tablespoons of olive oil in the pan. If I'm being honest, I have absolutely no idea how to eyeball that, so we're just gonna pretend like we knew what we were doing. We finally get to use this bad boy. I think it's supposed to be like 
one fourth of an onion or something, but we're just gonna do the whole thing. It's time to put the chicken in, throw those bad boys in. It says to saute until they're pretty crisp, which is about five to seven minutes on each side. Now that smells better. Oh, heck yeah. It's perfect. I like that so much better than the one I have. Yeah. Laura's here. Hello. Welcome Hello. to me, Casa. Hello. Vlogging. Hello. Hello. Mom and dad are making me dinner. <laughs> hey, you look pretty dressed up. Where, where were you? At dinner. Nice. I look at all those chopped up onions. It does smell so much better. Yeah, my eyes are watering though because of the onions. Yeah, let, let us know if it's good. Do you like it? Oh my gosh, yeah, it's really nice, I mean, actually. I Ikea lamb? Nice. I don't know where the, where's the carpet from? Um, wait here. Oh, you got a new one. Oh yeah, this is my new TV. Wow. Yeah. What is this? And the crazy thing is I'm moving again. Do you like the place? It's really nice, it's big. Uh -huh. Than I thought. Very For nice. Imagine, this is really nice. Something like different coming soon. Door. Oh wait, hey, look at the view, look at the view. The view is even better. I like the double doors. Look at that. Nice. Yep. Hey, nice seeing you. Oh, yeah. I'm just kidding. Also, Laura just reminded me, reminded me we're in the, uh, someone's hair is on me. We're in an excessive heat warning right now, so anywhere you go, it's <laughs> like on the maps, it tells you that don't go outside for too long, because you might get hurt. You might get hurt. Yeah. Oh, you heard it here. You might get hurt. Forgot we have to do the garlic as well. How many cloves? It says three, but you know the drill. It's like five, probably, I'm gonna do. Mm-hmm. Nice. The ch go check the chicken, it looks good. You guys should miss it. Oh yeah, we. that's the first thing I opened it to, the cheese board. You should do it. Except we're trying to figure out how to like write on the cheese yeah, itself. Yeah, the cheese. Like, it probably says it on it. No, I don't I think don't, so. I like briefly. To darken your carvings, cover with poppy seeds and gently press them into the carving. We have to carve it? Chicken is, is looking good. Welcome to uh, cooking with us, Laura. Cooking with my parents. <laughs> Stop it. All right, here we go. We're gonna, We're gonna brown. Add, add the onion, saute for five minutes. And the garlic too? No, not yet, mm -hmm. that's the next step. I know, you're so excited to see Laura. I know, I'm so <laughs> excited, she just can't contain her too. I know. It's the onions, guys. Oh my god, I actually have to put the onion. Garlic? It's <laughs> <laughs> continued. This is how we cook, Laura. <laughs> I literally, he goes, he goes, say garlic, in case he goes, garlic? <laughs> Rice. Rice. <laughs> one, rice. One cup of rice. There goes the rice. We're gonna toast the rice for a minute or two. Add in the juice of one lemon, one cup of chicken broth. We're gonna add in coconut milk. This is about, I wanna say seven and a half ounces. Throw in some kale in there because we don't kale. Get it? <laughs> get it? Get it? Yeah, I get it. I put the green beans in the oven, or not the beans. <laughs> I put the, the whole pot in the oven to make sure you use an oven safe pot when you're making it with the chicken back in there for 15 to 20 minutes. Two tablespoons of butter. I threw the seasoning in, you wait till the butter melts, and then the beans go in. Assistant Laura is coming on I'm over. I'm actually gonna help mom and dad out for a second here. Stop it. <laughs> Throw the beans in, Laura, oh, that you are not gonna eat because you're picky as a kid. I, I mean, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, we gotta, you gotta try one though. No. Laura, how's downtown? Like, cause you live there now. I'm never leaving. Come on, what about, you can be my neighbor. I would rather, no, I do not want to be your neighbor. Really? I need my spin. That probably hurts Casey. Yeah. Wait, Casey, Casey doesn't live here. But that would hurt her feelings because she lives in Celebration too. Don't do it. Yeah. Last step is a big scoop of this garlic into there and you're good. These are the best beans, I swear. Please try these, everybody. I make this every night, basically. And I think the food's done. I have to check to make sure the rice is cooked, but it should be. That looks good. Can you put the other mm. <laughs> So Laura doesn't even know how we eat. <laughs> Laura doesn't know how we eat. <laughs> Are we at the hoop to do? We eat like this. <laughs> we don't have a table. That is the table. Buy bar stools. 
I yeah. keep showing him bar stools. He won't buy this. <laughs> I thought we were the oopty doo for a second. <laughs> And dinner is served. We're currently plating them. It looks so darn stinking good. Look at the color. Hopefully it tastes good. And hopefully Laura likes it because Laura is the pickiest eater out of all three of us. She can do it. Look at how this like, Casey is taking. <laughs> Look at mom taking out my kid. <laughs> all right, here we go. Okay. Oh my gosh. Are those are like, yeah, we're going to do a thumbnail. This is going to be cute. Okay. All right, let's feast. Let's go. Wish the chicken didn't have a bone in it. I know. Rice has a good flavor. You're gonna be the first dude to try the chicken. Let's try it. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers to the chicken. Ooh. It's good. It's actually pretty good. It's juicy. It's really? really? Yeah, I think I've mastered juicy chicken. <laughs> no, that's, it's a second That's hard to do. <laughs> you know, I made chicken the other day and it was like rubber. Yeah. Cause like the first few times, it was kind of dry. Really I think good. I did it. I'll take it. I'll take it. Laura, did you enjoy the cooking with us? It was amazing. Yes. It's a fun experience, right? Yeah, 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. But that's gonna be it for you guys this daily dose. Thanks for joining in on this lifestyle vlog with us. It's been great. We're actually gonna go for a walk and just show Laura the property. So we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye-bye. 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 <laughs>